Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were, uh, we were not here. Uh, we had just gotten done talking with everyone else, and I had just gotten the array fixed. I talked to Corporal Sterling at Camp McCarran, and now there is one more thing that I need to do. I think. I think I exhausted all my uh, conversations with uh, Corporal Sterling. I'll need to get back on that. Anyway, um, when we uh, <laughs> when we left off, we were in the middle of trying to do Raoul's quests, and uh, the last thing we need to do is go to Novak. But I figured I might as well get the other side quest done I got from Loyal here done. So I'm gonna do that. Isn't that bomber a beauty? Thanks so much for making an old man's dreams come true. Not a problem. Uh, I repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Absolutely. Sounds good to me. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Boomer's fame gained. I'm not entirely sure... Not entirely sure I'm able to gain anymore <laughs> I am um, uh, I'm pretty high up there I'll admit I, I think I'm already at idolized I think so uh oh geez <laughs> game is losing its shit while I play it like most games that I've been playing lately all of them just lose their shit entirely anywho alright now that I've done all that that's the safe house I didn't no, they had a safe house there. Okay, anyway. Um, need to go to Novak. Which is... Not here. Uh, a little further up. There it is. Need to talk to, uh... Oh, I'm getting, uh, messages. Okay. Good thing I muted my computer. <laughs> uh... I looked over for a second, and that's when I noticed... Oh, there's messages there. But, uh, yeah... Uh, needed to talk to one guy in particular. I think I talked to him already. I think I learned the ranger takedown from him. But I don't know if I did all of it. So, let's talk to him. What's new? Uh, what do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Oh, I'm sorry. On better days, I help keep the peace. No, that's Boone good. and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You probably are, honestly. Uh, tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. Well, you got a job so. where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. Fair and if enough. you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Really? So, they, they save the uh, cool-looking stuff for the actual, you know, real elite guys. Wow. Oh, my. All right. Well, how about that? I'm pretty sure I've. it counts if I've already exhausted other uh, dialogue options with him, so... Look out for yourself. That should probably do it. Um, I hope... I'm glad you decided to off one of the most powerful men in the Mojave. Life was getting boring anyway. Really. Okay, well, that was clearly sarcasm. Uh-huh. Sure, boss. Alrighty. Um. Maybe when I head outside. We'll find out. Hey, yep. boss. There it goes. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. What's on your mind? What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? Uh, you mean, what do you mean guys like Ranger Andy? I mean guys who have a world of experience doing what they do, but have to give it up because they're getting old and slow, or too injured. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Even after a crippling injury, a guy like Andy's tougher and more dangerous than most men alive. That's true. Uh... This one's pretty true, too. Just because someone's crippled doesn't mean they're useless. All that experience is invaluable. But that is worded really, really badly. Um, 
ah. I mean, it's... On the same time, it's right, but at the same... On one hand, it's right. On the other hand, it is worded really fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, anyway. Um, I mean... Which one do I believe more, honestly? Um... I guess it's more of the first one. Maybe, yeah. I guess you got a point there. We're not just talking about Ranger Andy, are we? Not really, boss. No. I left everything when I left Mexico. My home, my family, my name, even my face. I know it's surprising, boss, but I wasn't always this handsome. <laughs> as far as the world knows, I was Miguel, and I was okay with that. I headed north for a while and ended up in Tucson. Not Tucson, by the way. Okay. Things were Fair good enough. there. Well, maybe not good, but better than Mexico City, anyway. I found myself a little shack, started fixing things. Fixing things? Oh, sure, boss. I was always good at fixing things. Some I fixed for the town, some I fixed for other people, some I fixed just for the hell of it. It's a better way to use your hands than killing. And even then, I wasn't getting any younger or faster. I lived there for a long time, kept it myself, didn't get into any fights. Hell, the only reason I even kept my guns oiled was professional pride. That's fair. That is very particularly fair. My chair is squeaking a lot enough that my mic, my headset's picking it up. It's a little annoying. Uh, why aren't you still there then, back in Tucson? One would think that sounded like a pretty good deal. Get in there, boss. I'd been in Tucson. The locals can call it Tucson all they want, but it's Tucson, damn Oh, the locals call it Tucson. 75 years when she showed up. Prettiest thing you ever saw, boss. Maybe it was just a trick of my senile brain, but I swear she looked just like my Rafaela. Her name was Claudia. I see. She ended up taking work at one of the brothels in town. I never went to her, of course. How could I? Mm -hmm. But I looked after her in my own way. Yeah, that's fair. So, <laughs> clearly the locals don't know how to fucking pronounce shit. And, uh, then she, then, uh, he met Claudia, who looked a lot like Raffaella, apparently. Uh, what happened with her? This was a long time ago, before Caesar's Legion pacified Arizona and brought the Raider tribes to heel. A tribe came into Tucson one day. More a gang, really. Dirty Dave and his six brothers. They were looking for bullets, and I sold some to them. I figured if I did that, they'd leave town before they tore it up too much. But they didn't, did they? No, boss. No, they didn't. As I was saying, I hoped they'd leave the town in peace. Instead, they decided to stop at Claudia's brothel to take the edge off. I don't know which one of them got rowdy first, but by the time I heard the screams and got my guns, it was too late. They shot up the brothel, killed four girls, and taken Claudia for their sport. Shit. Fuck. Did you rescue her? I went after Dave and his brothers. They had a head start, but they slept nights. I didn't. It took me three days to catch up to them. Claudia was dead when I got there. They put a bullet in each of her eyes. I couldn't do anything except avenge her, just like Rafaela. I charged into the middle of their camp and started firing. Two of them were dead before they knew I was there. The other five, though, they shot the shit out of me. I would have died, I think, if I wasn't so full of rage. Shit. And how did you survive? By being a meaner old cuss than the rest of them, boss. I wanted to keep living until they weren't. So I just kept shooting until they were all dead. I was in pretty bad shape in the end, though. I don't know how long I laid there, with the sun baking me and the buzzers chomping at me. Eventually, I got the strength to start moving. Some long time after that, I managed to drag my carcass back to town. Jeez. Fucking hell, Raul is a badass! Holy shit! Man. 
And I get it. I get it. I get that feel. <laughs> you, uh, don't really care what's happening to you when you're that angry. You're, uh, you're, uh, making sure they're taking it first. I, uh, very intimately, very intimately acquainted, acquainted rather with that, uh, <clears throat> with that concept. Anyway, what happened then? When I recovered, more or less anyways, mm -hmm. I left Tucson and headed west. I ran into Tabitha at Black Mountain, and well, the rest you know. I swore I was done with the gunslinging life. I was too old, too slow, and too beat up to protect anyone anymore. I thought I was done forever, but after traveling with you, I realized I've always had my doubts. Doubts? About what? About whether I still had what it took to carry my pistols proudly, to use them to do what's right. And now that I've been traveling with you for a while, you made me realize that I could still do that. Maybe I'm not as tough as I used to be, but my brains can make up for that. And my hands are still quick enough. It's time to put the guns back on. <laughs> I... Ah, oh, man, this is the decision that I didn't know if I was willing to do. Uh... Because, I mean, yes. Yes, he has a fucking legendary history behind him. He is very, very strong in that regard. And he would be a great addition, a great addition to my companions with that sort of skill set. But, I mean, he put all of that away. He put all of that away for a reason. And, I mean... I think that's a great idea, Raul, and I hope you'll put them to good use with me. You can bet on that, boss. He has gained the old Vaquero perk, which increases his rate of fire with revolvers and lever-action firearms by 33%, which he is already carrying the gun I gave him, which is I lucky. I expect to be awed by your dizzy Although, to be fair, sense, boss. To be fair, uh, lucky for some reason does not want to show the lucky uh, textures whenever they're given to a companion, which is a little annoying. But, oh my god. Oh my god, he looks so cool. He just looks great. And I'm overburdened as fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um. How? Where? What am I carrying? Uh, am I just carrying a bunch of weapons on me? Yes. Yes. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Son of a bitch. All right. Um. <laughs> where can I sell them all off? I've already gone to gun runners. Oh no. Uh. Let's go to 188. Let's go to the 188. Why not? Oh, man. Well, we finished, uh, finished Raul's quest, uh, quest, quest, fuck, mission, fucking companion quest. I think that's what my brain was trying to say, companion and quest, and then combined the two into a fucking atrocity that came out of my mouth <laughs> of quest. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's Veronica. That's where I was hoping I had accidentally left her. Sorry, Veronica. I'll get to you in a second. I need to sell shit. Oh, shit. They're not even there. Fuck me. Alright. Uh, let's wait a little bit. Maybe they're there now. Yes, they are. And fuck. I am already needing water. Alright, um... What am I all needing? A lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, shit. Water. 
obviously. It's all the way down here. Purified water is there. That's fine. Where does that put me? Uh, 67. That's fine. Food. Uh, I don't want to use that. Uh, food, 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 food. Uh, everything does too much. I don't want to... Mm -hmm. Iguana bits. I'll do iguana bits. Iguana bits is fine. I will live with iguana bits. There we go. Also, that is a weird turn of phrase. Iguana bits. Living Morning. With that. Okay. I've still got guns and ammo if you need them. Sounds good to me. Let's see what you sure, got. No problem. Do you have a lot of money? That's all I'm caring about. Yes, you do. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, uh, boy. A lot of frag grenades. Uh, let's get rid of the super sledge. Thank you. That was the biggest and heaviest thing in my fucking inventory. Holy hell. Um, this is actually probably pretty heavy, too. Most of the ammo I'm carrying is pretty heavy. Let's be honest here. Um, alrighty. Uh, don't need to be carrying these. Because I don't need those. Um... Is that it? Is that all I really need? Just to sell all that crap off? Um... Should I sell off the hunting rifle? I mean... I need that for repairs. But I could use that. Uh, I'm gonna sell this one off. And that's it. I'll be good. I'll be good from here. That is just fine with me. Holy shit, I have so many caps. I have so many fucking caps. Holy fuck. Alright, I will need to do an inventory management on my own later. But for right now, we have finished Raul's quest. He is now... The old vaquero. It is fucking amazing. His outfit is fucking cool as shit. I love it. I want one for myself. <laughs> but I'm too white to pull it off. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I hate being white sometimes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> fucking getting off that topic. I, uh have nothing really else to uh, do other than arcades. So, yeah. I think we're good. Now that we have a... Uh... Also, also, the knife in the front is a nice touch. I like that. God, you're so cool, Raul. Ah, I almost don't want to get rid of you so I can help Arcade. But Arcade has a fucking massive, massive quest line that leads to other cool things and I just mm, mm, choices choices okay uh, for right now let's talk oh good now there's an army of robots you don't do things by halves do you boss no I do not Raul no I do not I go all the fuck in or not at all anyway um I think we need to head on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Uh, you can go back to the Lucky 38 for now. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. That's fair. Okay, lost the regular maintenance and the old Vaquero stuff. Which, uh, regular maintenance, it's still good. Uh, if you had him, I, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, if you had him go with the uh, other option, which was staying the mechanic and just having the guns put away for good. He would actually make that perk a little stronger, but at the same hand, on the same hand, he doesn't get much else, I don't think. I might be wrong on that. But T is fucking cool, okay? He's fucking cool and amazing. And, uh, okay. Anyway, I'm um, a. Uh, What's up? Hey there. Let's go make trouble. Yes, let's do that. But I'm gonna really just do this to 
send you to th the lucky thing. Nice. Eight. Can I order room service? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Fucking. As long as it's. Actually, you know what? I have a lot of caps. It can be on my tab. Fuck it. Alright, um. Let's also have you deal with my ammo. But I'm going to end the episode here for right now so you guys don't have to watch me do a lot of fucking inventory management. That would be annoying as shit. Believe me, I know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and beating the fucking quest line way faster than I had anticipated and finally getting the coolest fucking shit out of a companion I've never interacted with before and I've found him fucking fascinating for you.